Hi everyone, this is Seattle 206723 uh, with another Light in the Dark uh, uh, production here for everyone. Uh, I wanted to talk tonight about, uh, you know, fundamentals and investments. Uh, where you stand, where you're at, and where you want to go. Um, we've A lot of us silver bugs, a lot of us uh, investors and lifetime investors, I hope, hope you all are. Uh, are wondering about the price of silver. Uh, it's at 42 bucks. Uh, it, there's there's some people who are you know selling off some positions. If you got in at 14 bucks, 12 bucks, four bucks, 20 bucks, or even 30 bucks, or you're 40 bucks and you're a newcomer to it, it's your decision. It's your money. Have at it. Um, I personally. Am a uh, a lifetime investor. Um, I, I look for opportunities uh, to invest, and I, I make my investments off a percentage base of what my my salary is and what I have coming in every uh, three times a month or so. Um, I take a percentage of that, no less than one tenth, and I invest it. Um, I brought a book. A long time ago uh, about 20 years ago and it was called the richest man in Babylon by George S Carlson uh, this book is an excellent book to start with for anyone looking to uh, invest in silver or anything else that they may want to invest uh, with uh, in the long term um, it talks about five different laws of investment. I'm just going to briefly show it to you guys and let you take a look at it. This is the five laws of gold uh, or silver within our case. Law number one, two, three, four, and number five. These are the five laws of, of, of gold investment. Uh, or silver investment or any other investment you may choose to get involved with um, I highly recommend picking up this book it's only uh, five dollars at least it was 20, 20 years ago it takes about 30 minutes to read and it's an excellent source on how to invest um, and gives you some fundamentals uh, for an investment strategy that, 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 has, that will last a lifetime highly recommend that book um, I also went past uh, the silver dealer uh, here in the Seattle area and I picked up these four coins um, basically uh, this guy right here is a uh, south uh, southern German uh, coin is 0.925. It weighs uh, approximately 31.2 uh, ounces. It's a uh, a coin that I'm not all that familiar with, but it looked funky and something different. So, if anyone's got a little bit more information than what I found on. Uh, Google, uh, please share and please comment. Um, I also picked up some uh, some kooks, um, and these are great rounds to have, and they sell for a super high premium if you ever want to get rid of them for some odd reason. Uh, don't see too many people with them, uh, but thought I'd share share with you guys these uh, four coins. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about briefly. Is, is that while at the dealer I noticed that he was talking with a customer and the shortage of maples in Canada uh, was the main topic I, I was talking with uh, the other young gentleman in the store uh, buying these four coins and I could hear the main guy over there raving about his shortage and the tightness tight tight tightness in the market um, for Canadian maple leaves. Um, basically, uh, it looks like that they were 
extremely short last month. They're catching up this month, and maybe we'll see some higher production numbers from those guys. Well, I wanted to keep this video around five minutes, guys. I'll, I'll do another video uh, later uh, later this uh, weekend uh, to give you some more information on that. But I wanted to give you a heads up and kind of give you some investment strategies and, and an idea on a book to pick up. And, you know, five bucks, uh, 30 minutes, and, you know, it'll carry you through for a very long time. Well, uh, please comment. If uh, Please subscribe. And uh, please vote. Thank you very much. Have a good night.